Okay, today I'm working on a 2000 Jaguar XJ8 with the ZF5 HP24. And this came in with the typical slipping on the pull away, slipping and drive. So we got the okay to pull the trans out, open it up. I did not find the A drum broken, but I found the skinny O ring on the other side was torn. Uh, causing the leak in the A circuit, causing it to slip on the pull-away. Of course, the other common problem of why this slip on the pull-away would happen would be a blown A drum. Uh, as you know, the pressure regulator valve bore wear is causing that which creates pressure spikes and blows the A drum, so you get a slip on the pull-away. All right, so I am changing the A drum because the O-ring was torn, but when I'm looking at where the O-ring sits, it's a little, it doesn't look 100%. Uh, so I'm changing the drum anyway. I usually like to change the drum, honestly, as a uh, standard rebuild procedure. And another thing that I do as a standard rebuild procedure is change the lower front half of the valve body because that is where the pressure regulator valve is located. And of course, you know, you have that common problem with the bore, with bore wear. So um, I usually get this stuff from Ericsson's. I get the casting. I get the... Uh, second design valve and but lately the casting the price of the the brand new casting you know has been going up and up and up so what Ericsson's is doing now is their machinist is taking the uh, lower front halves and putting an oversized valve reaming it out and putting an oversized valve in and I've used a few of these and I've never had a problem, uh, that's great. Uh, you can just tell by the way the valve goes in, it's, uh, it's perfect. And again, it's much cheaper than getting the um, brand new casting with the second design valve. But you know, of course, whatever preference you have uh, is fine. Um, but again, I've used these and they've been great. So what we're gonna do today I don't know if I ever, I don't think I did this. I know I have some stuff on the 5 HP 24s, but we're actually going to uh, swap everything from this casting, uh, this lower front half of the valve body over to this one, and then we'll just set the piece on to the valve body. The rest of the valve body is done. So I just gotta do this. So I just got the casting in the other day with the valve and spring, and everything gets used as a set, and they want the core back, so I'm gonna send them this back uh, once uh, everything is said and done. So, uh, what I'll do is I will get a little closer. We're gonna take this one apart, lay everything out on the rig, and then we'll put it back into this casting and again, um, install the lower front half onto the valve. All right, so let me get a little closer and we'll get started. Okay. So these are uh, T27s, so we're going to take uh, the plate off here, the plate off here. Uh, there's one back here with accumulator valves, and then we got the one in the center here that we got to take off. So, let me see if I can just get a little closer here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do it this way so you guys can see. Alright, so now I'm going to hold this down. Take the last one up. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to lay these valves out as they come out. These all have springs on them. Alright, this is, that's an accumulator. Alright, so let's get these springs out here. 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 Okay, that's one section. Now we're going to do this section. This has the big heavy spring in it for the pressure regulator. Okay. Okay. 
take the last one off, and there's going to be a heavy spring in there. It's like it's hanging up in there a little bit. Okay. All right, I'm feeling, thing was hanging up because I'm feeling actually a little step in here. Drone wasn't bad, like I said, the O-ring was torn, but again, you know, this is worn out, so who knows how much longer it would have went. Okay, so we're gonna move these over here. All right, now we have the center one, and we're gonna take the stopper out. And just give it a push. All right, just kind of note the way it goes. Whoops. Just kind of note the way it goes, the way it's shaped. I think there's a, a pretty good spring behind this one. Uh, not bad. All right. This is hollow in here, so the spring is actually going to sit in here. All right, now we're gonna take the clip out here, and it is another valve in there. We gotta watch the way, watch the position of how the clip comes out, because of course, that's gotta go back in the correct way. Okay, so the long end is gonna face back. You got the little short, here, and then you got the long. So it's gonna go in just like that. The long end will face the back here. All right, and then there's a little valve that you gotta try to get out. It should fall right out. Okay. And then this will go back in just like this. So the only thing we got left now are the two accumulators here. Okay. So the empty, the one in the center is empty. These are, are pretty much the same. So this one went on the inside. And then this one goes on the outside. Okay. So this is empty. So what I'm gonna do is just wanna uh, clean the valves up, just um, hit them with the solvent and clean everything down. And then we're gonna load it back into the new cast down. All right, so just give me a few minutes. I will be right back. Okay, so we're ready to go together. I have my casting now that's gonna house the new oversized pressure regulator valve and spring. I flat sand these, clean it out, blow it out, make sure everything looks good, and it does, so we can go ahead and start putting this together. All right, so first we're gonna do the two accumulators, and uh, the function is this accumulator is for EDS3, and this is EDS4. And there's one more in there, which I believe is EDS2, uh, when we get to that other section. 
Okay? So we're just going to hold this down. Sorry if you can't see. Okay, just leave that like that for now. All right, then we're going to start with this section here. This is fairly simple. Then we'll put this valve in, and then this will be, this is a little tough with the, you know, with the heavy spring. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start feeding these valves in. Okay, and this is uh, accumulator for the EDS-2. And I cleaned all these valves up. Everything looks good. Okay. So let's put the bolt in here. I got it held down. So we're going to tighten these down here. Okay. And now, for this section here, this is um, this is like the lube. They call this the lube valve. So. This has this is like a floating valve. This thing here, mm -hmm. and you got to kind of get it all the way up into uh, the valve train all the way up here. And sometimes, you know, it'll cock in the bore, or whatever. It might be a little bit of a pain to get in. So what I do is I have this piece of tubing. It's probably like five sixteenths cooler line, and this fits perfect right in there to hold it. And then what I do? Let me just switch hands so you guys can see. I kind of just feed it right up. There we go. Turn it upside down. It's in. We're going to put the clip in. Remember, this long side faces back. Okay. And that's in and free. Okay, we'll put the other half of the valve in, got the cap, okay, now what we got to do here, Gotta push down on this. Okay, and then we're gonna put the stopper in. Push down on it again and push it through. Okay. Now that's that. Alright, now we have this section, so what I do with this. This valve here tends to stick up a little bit. 
uh, and it'll make it that much harder to put this plate on. So what I do is I push this valve down and I stick, uh, where's my little screwdriver? And I stick my little screwdriver to hold the valve all the way down. Uh, just so I, I don't have to struggle that hard because it's hard enough with this spring to get that on. So, what I do here, all right, so we're gonna put this in. Okay, that dropped right in, and that's how much that spring sticks up. All right, this one is gonna go in, and then this. All right, so, you know, it's got, it sticks all the way like this. All right, so what I do, as I push this valve down, and then I stick the little screwdriver there like that to hold the valve down and just be careful because if it comes out I think it'll take off like a rocket okay so let's get set up for this all right let me just get I got a little thumb wheel here I don't want to try to get these bolts in Not that easy to do. All right, now this actually just fell right out on its own, which is fine, because it's down there. But before, of course, there was tension on it. All right, I just gotta get this started here. So after everything is in, just like to check movement here. Okay, that's good. Put my light. Let me just grab my little flashlight here. Okay. Good. Good. Make sure this valve moves good. Yes. A little too uh, weak to move that with a heavy spring. All right. So everything is good. Okay. So now what we're going to do is tighten our end covers here. And I do that to 80 inch pounds. Okay, 
got that. Annual valve. And the lineup pin for the valve body. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna bring the valve body over. We don't need this anymore. And uh, we'll install this onto main valve body. All right, so when I put this together, these bolts are still loose, but I did use the lineup pin here, you know, and that right here, you can see, goes right here. So this should drop right in, and the manual valve, you gotta get into that track. should drop right in. There we go. Perfect. Manual valve is free. Put a couple of bolts in. Right, this is for this goes this way. For the input speed sensor. one this one is gonna go here where these bolts go the holes are a little smaller Right knees also. 80 inch pounds. All right, I'm gonna start from the inside and go out, but basically I just wanted to go over the switching of the parts and the little tricks that I have to make it a little easier on the front lower half of the valve body in a 5 HP 24. And this goes for any of them. You know, if it's in a, uh, Land Rover, it's in, it's all the same, you know, when you're on the bench. So this one again is a Jaguar, 2000 uh, Jaguar XJ8. Uh, I got actually a BMW coming in uh, in a couple of days with a 5 HP 24 uh, for a, a transmission. It, they told me it was slipping going in the drive, so common problem, you know, is um, thinking the A drum on that is blown. Uh, and I guess that's about it for this 5HP24 valve body. I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next one.